Almost 50% of the students who enrolled in Biology 2020 at the University of Utah failed a class, making it the most failed class on campus in the past semesters. Due to this issue, the Biology Department created a Biology Tutoring Center located at the first floor of the South Biology Building. Dr. David Garr, Biology Academic Advisor, explains some of the reasons why this is such a failed and challenging class. Many times it's, it's one of the first science classes that they have to take, which is a really rough, rigorous science class. It, it's also true that it's a very large class with many, many students in it. And so there is an impression that the students don't have access to the faculty members. They don't really know yet how best to study for the class. Um, and so it, it presents a challenge, a, a challenge to students. One of the other issues with cell biology is it's not only taken by majors, it's taken by non-majors who are pre-professional students in pre-medicine, pre-dental. Um, biomedical engineers are required to take cell biology. So we sometimes find the students come without the pre prerequisites for the class. So another thing we'll be doing in the, in the near future, don't know if it will get started by spring of 16 or fall of 16, is starting to enforce the prerequisites for Biology 2020, and we think that should help as well. Lucas M. Horner was assigned as the new director of the Biology Turing Center to solve this issue, and says that Biology 2020 is a difficult class if students don't show up. Cell Bio 2020 is um, a difficult class. It has a lot of material to cover. Um, it's, um, it's the type of class that often is accompanied by um, a lab, and I know um, a lot of classes on campus, students can get by um, not going to class that often. Maybe you can just read the book um, and then show up for the exams and do pretty well. Uh, but cell biology is a difficult one. Um, I've been running this learning center and the tutoring uh, program in particular for about nine weeks and we've had over 70 um, unique students have used the tutoring services. Um, over 125 total tutoring visits by those 70 students and we've had over 100 hours of, of tutoring time um, served towards students. It's all free of charge as well. So. Um, the students are using the tutoring services, um, and I do know that overall cell biology grades are up this semester. The tutors of the Biology Tutoring Center think this is a great resource for the community that it builds for the students. Some of the students have told me that it is a great resource mostly for the community that it provides. So students can come here and meet other students from the class ask questions and most of the time other people have the same questions so with a tutor here we can work to get those answered and um, the fact that the university does have such a low pass rate is really unfortunate and that's why the BLC is such a good program. I definitely think there needed to be a resource like this for students and so it's moving in the right direction. This new tutoring center is a fantastic place to study and be helped out. It's just a fantastic place to study. Um, you have TAs and tutors available to answer any question. So overall, it's a place where you can get together. It's well lit. It's got a nice big table. You can talk over the table, learn, and anytime you get stumped, there's always a TA or a tutor that can, can come to the rescue and help out.